Hey, what's going on guys? So, in my opinion, one of the most important things that a backpack hunter uh, would have, uh, once again, I'm new to this, so I I'm just going by common sense right now, but one of the most important things I think is your sleep system. And for me personally, if I don't get a good night's sleep, it affects me the next day and that will just keep going on and on if I'm in the woods for a few days. So when it came down uh, to what sleeping bag to purchase, it was a little difficult because there are a ton of sleeping bags on the market. So I literally probably looked at 20, 30 different bags and uh, finally I, I just got a little overwhelmed with it. So I just kind of did the process of elimination. Uh, the first thing was I wanted a synthetic bag. I did not want a down bag. I wanted a bag that would work in, in any conditions. If it's raining, snowing, hot, cold, you know, if it's wet, you know, wherever I was. So I didn't want to take a chance with the down bag uh, getting wet. So I wanted to avoid that. The other thing was just size. Uh, I, I wanted a bigger bag. I am not the type to sit and sleep like this. I don't know how people do that, but that's my opinion. But a lot of the bags are mummy style, thin bags, and you have no room. I, I want some space. And uh, obviously weight was a factor. So I, I just kept looking and looking and I kept finding different bags that, okay, this one's nice and tall. Uh, this one comes in a wide, you know, looking at temperature rating. So basically long story short, I narrowed it down to one bag. And once again, uh, it's, I should have just bought it as soon as I saw it because I kind of figured this is what I was going to end up with. But anyway, I ended up going with the Kafaro Slick Bag. Now this is the long, wide, zero degree bag. So I went with zero degrees, which is going to be too warm a lot of the times. But once again, I, I, my money tree's not growing yet. I keep planting 20s in the backyard. It won't take, I don't know if I need some more fertilizer or what, but I can't afford to buy a bag for a 40 degree bag, a 30 degree bag, a 15 degree bag, a zero degree bag. So I figured uh, I might as well get a warmer bag, uh, a better zero, like a zero degree bag. That way I can use it all the time. I figure if it's too warm, I unzip it, I lay on top of it, or just kind of lay underneath it, whatever I gotta do. But I figured I could use this all the time. It is a little bigger, but once again, it is a zero degree bag. It is a long and it is a wide. Now, the long is up to six foot seven person. So I'm about six three, six two, six three. So, and I'm right around 240 right now. But uh, this bag is, it's a larger bag, it is. But the stuff sack is a five string stuff sack from Kafaro. Now I didn't tie the strings up just because I wanted to show you guys some things, but uh, it packs down a little differently. It doesn't go into a ball. It goes into this uh, horizontal, kind of looks like a big turd. But anyway, what's nice about this is if you're packing in or packing out, if you have meat, whatever, you can easily strap this to the bottom of your bag or if you put it in your pack, it will fit down in the pack or you can run it horizontally instead of having that awkward ball. So the only thing I found with this uh, stuff sack is you can see these straps here and that's basically holding the cords in place. There's five strings and they have these lock, pull down lock. They're real simple to use. You just pull them down and open them up. You just flip them back. So this is kind of like a guide here and there's a guide here. I really wish they kind of would have put one or two more of those guides. Like as you can see how these strings are together where it would be more effective if they were spaced out. So two more guides on this, these straps would have been awesome. But all in all, I think that the, it's, it's an awesome design, extremely durable, extremely lightweight, works well. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up here. So these things are pretty simple. You just pull them back and they, they loosen right up. Got another one here. Like I said, this is the five. I believe they also have a three. So it takes a little bit of time. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's very effective. So a little bit of time don't really bother me. But for the bag, that down. So this is the bag. As you can see, I'm holding the bottom of this on the ground. I'm 6'3", and you can see how much higher that is. Super lightweight, I think the bag came in right a little over four pounds, I think. So it's a little heavier bag, but it is a synthetic bag. So, I mean, this thing could be soaking wet and it will still hold body heat. So that's the reason I went with it. Uh, it's wide, so I'm gonna hold this up. I'm gonna actually get in it standing up to show you the space. 
but you can see how wide it is. You know, it's a very wide bag. So if you're a bigger guy, big, like I said, I'm 6'3", right around 240 right now. Uh, plenty of room. Nice hood on it. So very durable, very, I mean, it's stretchy, but it's, I mean, I just can't get over. I love this material. But one of the things that really drew me to this bag is it's a front zip bag. So I sleep on my shoulders most of the time. And if you have any experience in a sleeping bag, if you are a shoulder sleeper at some point, most likely that zipper is going to be underneath you. So if it's on your side and you roll to your left, the bag tends to turn a little bit too. So now your zipper is underneath you. If you sleep on the other side, the zipper is going to be somewhere up top. So now if you roll around on this, this way, this way, most, most of the time, this front zipper is going to end up somewhere right in the front of you. So if you need to get out of the bag in a hurry or, uh, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night and whether you hear something or you got to go take a leak, whatever you got to do, zipper's right in front of you. Just grab it, pull it down. So we're going to open this up. So it's a little harder to do while I'm standing, but there's a reason for that. You open it up. There's Velcro straps in the center here. Holds the flap on. So there is a nice flap that protects the zipper, keeps the heat from escaping. You have draw cords here on both sides for the hood. But the reason I did this standing up, because I want to show you, like I said, I'm 6'2", six, 6'3". Six six uh, most of the time I'm 6'3". So I'm going to stand in this. I'm going to put my feet all the way to the bottom. I'm not trying to fall on my head here. So. Oh boy, I don't know if I can get that. There you go. So you can see how much room is in this bag. This will probably fit a seven foot person with no problem. And my ceilings are just a smidge under eight foot. And I'm touching the ceiling with my fingers through the hood here. So this is a big bag. Look at all the space in here. So tons of room to move around. Zippers work really well. They're easy to get to. He said, last time I did this, I was laying down, so it is a little easier. But uh, it's hard to do when it's open. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to demonstrate it. There we go. Why I'm in it standing, just so you can see the size. I think it's more accurate that way than laying on the ground. It can be a little deceiving. But there you go. I'm 6'3", about 240. And... <laughs> It's a huge bag, extremely warm bag. So this has been tested. What I consider the ultimate test, what I did is I let my wife sleep in it for a night in the house. So if my wife is freezing cold, I'm probably comfortable. So I decided to let her try this. I figured the air conditioning has been on. I usually put it at about 68. Uh, her extremities feel like popsicles at that point. So I let her use the bag and got her in it, zipped it all up, and I just wanted to know if she came out of it overnight. I uh, woke up in the morning and the bag was laying on top of her. She was too hot. So that told me right there that this bag works really well. So I haven't had the chance to use it in the field, but there's enough guys out there that are using it. Uh, you know, highly recommended. People have been doing this for a long time and they go right to the slick bag. So that helped me, persuade me to, to, to do it. So. But it's a great bag. Uh, this is one of the biggest things. Anything that has this Made in the USA sticker on it. This is made right here in Colorado. I believe Colorado is where they actually make everything. But I don't care if it's a little bit more money or it takes a little longer to get or whatever. If I feel like I'm supporting somebody here in the United States, then that's going to persuade me to buy it. But once again, guys, it's Kafaro Slick Bag, zero degree, long, wide. Awesome bag. Check it out, kafaro.net. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm Lou Rosito with Getting Lost. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you very much for taking the time to watch my um, not so great video. I'm working on it, I promise. I, I hope to continue to make uh, the quality of the video a little better and come up with some cool t content and keep uh, pumping out videos, uh, hopefully at least twice a week. Uh, it's been a little rough right now because I am still living in Pittsburgh. Uh, the house is in shambles. We got everything, you know, almost packed up and ready to go. Hopefully I'll be out there by late summer. Uh, 
But anyway, please take a second and subscribe to my YouTube page, uh, Getting Lost. Also, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Both of those are still Getting Lost. And uh, my website, uh, GetLost.com. I have a bunch of cool content. Uh, all the reviews, all the videos are going to be on there. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, any recommendations, uh, please contact me, Lou at GetLost.com. Thanks very much.